Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Start. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can use the Nivo slider in Drupal 7. Uh, so I start out by looking for the module called Nivo slider. If I click on that, um, we have the Nivo slider. Um, for those who do not know what the Nivo slider is, uh, normally it looks something like that i don't have an example now uh, but yeah let's just start out with creating um using the nivo slider now apart from the nivo slider there are other modules such as the nivo view slider uh, which is for more advanced um, features in nivo slider we'll do that in another tutorial uh, i've looked at the nivo formatter uh, it's not yet really stable it has some issues and you can also use the media nivo slider but for a very basic slider I just advise you to go for a new slider so let's start out with this so i will download my module using drush as i do drush download uh new underscore slider um so that should download the module to our website and once that's done we we'll enable our module drush enable uh new underscore slider and yes we want to enable that so that should enable uh, the Nivo slider module and once that is done we want to clear our cache trash oh yes need it needs the libraries module uh, so uh, it's dependent on the libraries module so make sure you also download that if you're using drush that will automatically download that also uh, to your website so Nivo slider has been enabled so let's clear our cache cache Rush CC all and that should clear our cache for us. Uh, once that's completed, if you look, um, it says copy the libraries API module to site or modules. That's for the module, Nivo slider or site or modules. Uh, and then next thing is we want to get the library uh, for this module, which you can get from this link. And you save that in your sites or libraries or site site name libraries as you require uh, so you want to get the free version and you click on download that you download that I already have uh, a downloaded one so I would copy it here I've extracted it copy and I would save that in my libraries folder and I paste that in there and that should save uh, the libraries and so once that's done we can enable our module and although we've already enabled our module so let's clear the cache once again since we've uh, copied our library into the uh, libraries folder and um, yeah we should be good to go once this is done uh yeah our cache has been cleared so if we go to our website now refresh mm, and that should refresh and if you go to structure now now you would find Nivo slider so if I click on Nivo slider and um, to start out it will just tell you to choose a file once you choose a file you see many other options come in play so I choose a file for now if I scroll up let's go to pictures and uh, some pictures no I have some pictures which I want to use yeah show one save configuration and so yeah that's the slider you can give it a title which would you see uh, i would call it slide one and you can give it a description this should show uh, the first slide so uh, you can make it a filtered html if which if html whichever one you like if you want this um slides link to a page you can copy that url you don't have to put something there if you don't want it linking uh if you want the slide to show on specific pages i wouldn't be using this because i'll be using blocks and transition it's up to you to choose whatever kind of transition you want to use i will go with fade and once that's done uh, the next thing is i want to uh, add another uh, image uh to delete you can click on delete and choose a file and that will delete that once that is saved but i will just take a new file so that one and i do show two and i uh, would click on save configuration 
and we should see the second slide we call this uh slide and two uh, a, a description for image two and that should save that for us i click on save configuration i can decide to make the second one also to be fit save configuration now if you want to change the options for your nevo slider you can come here you can select the team i'll be using default which is the only one i have installed general use a random starting slide yes no if you want that you can set that effects uh, you can make the effects to be fade i uh, use fade you can choose random you can change the speed uh, you can post animation when over over the slide yes no that's up to you whatever works best for you um you can close effects so now we have effect properties with things like this so yeah you can go through all these to have a perfect one navigation only display this one blah 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 yeah if you want it to have a uh, next button if you want to change it to something else you can change them there and once that is done we click on save configuration and so we can close this above once this is done we cannot find our slider so how then can we place our slider say on the home page of our website so if we go to structure and go to blocks uh, we should find this block for new slider here it is so let's put it somewhere on our website we'll put it in featured and then once we've done that let's click on save blocks and uh, let's close this now and refresh voila so here is our slider showing on top in the featured content you can uh, decide to change the size you can team it and reduce all these properties in your own uh, website and uh, so basically you see our slider works perfectly using only the fade effect which was what we chose uh, you can use the arrows to change you can use the arrows to change and here it was our description so it, it puts these descriptions here uh, you can team it to change uh, it into whatever you feel comfortable with uh, you can either to, to adjust this my own um, uh, Nevo slider you can either go to structure Nevo slider or if you're familiar with Drupal once you over river you can click on that and click on configure block however this configures only the block uh, where you placed it but to change your Nevo slider you would have to go to structure and Nevo slider and change it and so this brings us to the end of this tutorial uh, we'll probably do another tutorial for using a more advanced um, Nevo slider in a situation say for example you want to have like another slider on another home page with this kind of um, slider you can only have one on your website you can have two kinds of sliders on your website so to do that you wouldn't be using the nevo slider module uh, you would be using the views uh, nevo slider which we would cover in another tutorial